and welcome back to Lantern Court video pre-recorded on the 14th for the 15th. Uh, and this one comes to us from Lightmaster LB, who asked the question, what Lantern Corp does Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the Full Metal Alchemist series, belong into? And I, I, first off, I like the image I used for this. I will fully admit, I've seen parts of Full Metal Alchemist. I do know Full Metal Alchemist, but that was one anime I never, or manga, I never got into. Uh, very much. Not that I can't see the appeal of it. I definitely can. And I actually wanted to refresh myself on a few of the of like those two major fights where he kicked not only Envy's ass, but Lust's ass as well. Um, and the question, obviously, is, what Lander Corp does this guy belong in? Um, and now, I don't know a huge amount of his personality outside of those moments, but from those moments, I can get a, um, a pretty kind of uh, feel like a good indication of what his um lantern court might be now first let's address a couple of the ones i don't think he qualifies for even though he is alive um he's probably not a good candidate for life simply because he's taking life anyone who's really taking life kind of detracts it kind of really cuts you down from uh, being a white lantern or being some sort of embodiment of life he's not an embodiment of life he's just alive uh, but neither is he a Black Lantern. At least, I don't believe he died at the end of the series. He Because he gets wound. Lust tries to kill him, but he sears the own wound to seal it up. I think he survives. I can't recall. But he, assuming he's not dead in the series, he can't be a Black Lantern. Because he doesn't embody death enough. Uh, Blue, probably not. Though people might place hope in him. I, I don't think he's... It's like on the level of someone like a Captain America or the Avatar or something like that. Uh, Orange, he's, he has no real greed in him. Um, he's not that selfish, per se. Uh, he's just, you know, he's got a mission, he wants to complete it. Uh, Indigo, Compassion, he probably has it, but it's not like his most defining trait. So, that leaves the final ones, and where I think they rank. Now, Love is an arguable one, I want to debate that for a second here. That Lust, I believe, took the form of his wife, um... And that's where he got injured by lust. Uh, but it, whether or not he's do, whether or not love is what's motivating him or not, it's like what's dominating him. That's a debatable thing to you know bring up. You can make the argument, I suppose, but I feel like that's not really what was driving him in the circumstance when it came to lust. Uh, what I think was really driving him in the circumstance that uh, came to lust was a completely different emotion that we will talk about in just a second. But let's talk about one of the obvious ones. Whoop. Let's get this a bit more centered real quick. There we go. Uh, and uh, in the Green Lantern Corps. And I think the Green Lantern Corps, frankly, is one of the most likely candidates. Because it takes a lot of will to do what he did in that scenario. To get injured, sear his own flesh to close the wound. He said he nearly passed out from the pain. Inscribe an, a, uh, an alchemy circle on his hand to continue to do his alchemy. Uh, and then walk, find his way all the way to that battle and beat the crap out of Lust. The amount of willpower it takes to do that is nuts. Uh, so I think Will is a pretty solid option for him. But I think fear isn't out of the question either. Because when, when he walks up on Envy... He, you can see Envy's kind of scared shitless of this guy, like, uh, uh, how dare you look down at me? He's like, he's trying to, he's like angry, but at the same time, he's like, no, the look on this guy's face, like, no. And then obviously, he starts just going in on him, dude. and snap, snap, snap. It's like, he's wrecking shop with these fools. Like, Roy Mustang, when he gets pissed, you do not want to be on his bad side. You do not want to be the person that he's letting that anger out on. Um, so I think fear might be a solid candidate as well. Last thing we should talk about, whoops, is our rage. And uh, rage is... Whoa, wait, one second here. That's not right. Uh, why is it giving me this one? Hmm. One second here. Um, I'm just going to... There we go. I think I fixed it. No, I didn't. Why is... I got the Red Lantern ring up here. Why is it give, still giving me this? Um, I, I clicked my... I did a thing where I, I clicked... Uh, but I'm saying, point being, um, I'm something got messed up here. Um, point being is that the Red Lantern core is what I'm referring to here. 
Um, the Red Lantern Ring of Rage, I think, is a, think is a pretty apt candidate in certain circumstances in the series, particularly those two instance, instances where you could see his anger was on full display and it was dominating him in his, you know, deciding short, his factor of, I'm going to wreck your shit now. Please stand by and allow my fist to go straight up your ass. Um, you're looking for a colonoscopy? I can give you one made of pure flames. Here we go. Like, it was a it was pretty freaking pissed off in those moments. Now the red ang, the red light of anger is a very unique light. Uh, I had someone debate again about whether the Hulk could theoretically qualify for the red light of anger because while he's in the embodiment of rage, is that what is that what is driving the Hulk? And a a lot of the time, yeah, but b it's about how it isn't necessarily the emotion that dominates you doesn't actually have to be what's motivating you. It just has to be the most dominant emotion in you. And so the Hulk would still qualify, obviously. And red is one of those things where if it, it's kind of a bit more like it's an opportunistic ring, where it's like, if I can find rage in you, I'm going to find it. And attach yourself onto a cat that got pissed off its owner was di died. Now, if their lantern rings hadn't existed, it was a real old, the cat might have been able to find a new owner and, you know, find love again. But because that cat was angry, uh, it hooked onto that cat and it's like, ah, oh, new candidate. And once hooked onto Super Gold because she lost control of her rage. So, in certain instances, instances, you can qualify for a lantern ring if you one of your emotions outweighs the other for that moment in life. Uh, so for those moments, definitely a rage would have worked for Mustang. But in his everyday life, he's probably a Green Lantern. Uh, more than he's more than anything probably a Green Lantern, just because of the sheer willpower it takes to do some of the things he did. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Green, yellow, red. Uh, what are, those are the primary colors, well, actually, no, it's, um, blue, a uh, blue, yellow, and red are the primary colors, but, um, what do you think is the most likely layer to bring? Is it one of the three I brought up, or is it any of the other ones that I, uh, you know, I basically kind of dismissed? I didn't think counted or, uh, would be good qual candidates for him. Let me know in the comments below, but until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know the review at some point. And ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superior, Magic, what if, anything you do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get that at some point. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you folks next time. Later.